Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna and today we're doing a fun back focus video inspired by a friend of mine on Instagram who messaged me about her wedding dress. She has an open back dress and she's like, what can I do to make my back just pop it? I figure you're clicking on this video if you have your bride, you're a bridesmaid. You're getting ready for a formal event. To me, nothing is better than a backless dress. I think it's strong, it's sexy, without being too over the top. I love it. I've designed a workout today that's focusing on three primary muscle groups that I think are gonna really make your back pop. First group is the rhomboid muscles right in between your shoulder blades. So pretty, just aesthetically pretty. The second is the lats, which are these big back side muscles. They give you a really good shape when you build them up a little bit makes your waist look smaller, we love that. And the third muscle group is the rear delt. So if you see a nice shoulder that has kind of that cap on it, the rear delt is that back portion, which in a backless dress really contributes to the whole look of the back. Our workout is gonna go as follows. It's gonna be in the description box as well. We have a warm up exercise, three supersets, and kind of a crux move at the end. You will need a pull up bar, dumbbells, and I do have a barbell for one of these movements, but I'm gonna show you like an at-home hack version if you don't have a barbell. Let's get started. Okay, let's get everything warm. You need your pull-up bar for this first one, so go ahead and hop up there. We're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps or whatever you can do before your grip is totally shot. That's usually what I base this off of. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together really tight and then relax them and stretch everything out in your shoulder. The point of this exercise is to activate every muscle that's going on there in your back. You can see a lot of muscles a little popping out. Squeeze and as you retract the shoulder blades, start to engage your core. You wanna think of hollowing out your body just a little bit. I squeeze my legs together and engage my core and everything just turns on. You want everything to get nice and warm and active. This is the first part of our superset that involves our rear delts. So get yourself a band and if you're doing this at, this one at home, you can wrap this around like I have a banister for my stairs that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Wrap it around something like that in your house that's not going anywhere because you want to pull on this band. And this, for reference, is a pretty ding dang light band. Any heavier and my traps, again, they just, they just get so mad. So the cues here that are gonna count for you are a little bit of internal rotation for your arms. Thumbs down, elbows a little bit higher than the shoulders, and you wanna pull, just like the name suggests, right to your face. If you're a gym goer, you've probably done this on the cable machine before with those little that little rope attachment. Everyone's always doing these because they're awesome for your rear delts. This was a main staple in my training for my bikini competition. It's all about shoulders and rear delts, and I love this. If you can get your shoulders down and really focus on the back of that little cap, you'll start to feel it, and it's good. The fire is great. Okay, here I'm just showing you how small these weights are. These are two pound weights. These are the weights that my daughter, my 20 month old daughter plays with. And these are plenty for me in this position. You can even grab soup cans if you want from here. Internal rotation with the hand. So you're gonna lead with your pinky fingers and I am pitched way over, almost 90 degrees. This for me helps me access the rear delt and not the traps. So here I'm like, oh, up here, no. My, my shoulders go up to my ears, it's all traps for me. But play around with it. Do what feels best in your body because everyone's shoulders are different. Just stay really internally rotated, lead with your pinkies, and don't be afraid to use momentum here. This is called a rear delt fly for a reason, so feel like you're a bird. Whee! Swing the arms a little bit and try to get some momentum, try to get that burn in the back of the delt. For the first part of this superset, you're gonna need a bench and a pretty dang heavy dumbbell. I'm doing this with a 20, which I thought I could not do, but you can use a little bit of momentum here, that's the point. So as I'm pulling with a lot of force back, I'm also pushing with my front hand and my kneeling knee to activate my core. So every time you row, 
your abs should be tight from underneath. You're getting a little bit of protraction or that spread apart of your shoulder blades at the base right here. And then squeeze them together, squeeze them wide. So main cue here, <laughs> the things that I see the most is lifting your shoulder up to your ear and nobody wants to build their traps, right? You're not here to get like a tense, tight neck. So try to feel like someone is pushing on your shoulder back as you start to row. Exhale on your contraction and you'll really feel those back muscles start to pop. Moving on, you're gonna lay down on your bench and if you're at home and you're using an ottoman or something like that, that's fine. I just kind of like to wrap my hands underneath. I like the space that the bench provides, so if you have something like this, it's a perk. Few different cues here that make this work really well. One is you wanna feel like you don't have arms. Just pinch your shoulder blades together and your arms should follow. That's another great cue to help keep the traps out of the game. You'll see right away at the start of this exercise, I cue up by lifting my shoulders up in a little back extension and squeezing my butt, like squeeze your butt forward. You want all your back extensors to be on, and then you're adding that extra work of the rhomboids in that wide flat here. Okay guys, this is the move that involves the barbell, so in the next slide I'm gonna show you an at-home like hack version. This is called an inverse row, and it is bomb.com for pull-ups. If you're trying to get your pull-ups, you need to incorporate these in your training. And they also work every freaking bit of your back. You can start to see, I'm starting to get a little pumped here, but all the all the muscles in the back working. Oh, we're into the home. Okay, so <laughs> this is my home office, ignore the mess. But you can find anything if you have a little desk or anything that's sturdy, the grip is different. So this is a neutral grip instead of pronated, which you would do on the barbell. And I'm a little more underneath rather than upright, but you're gonna work almost all the exact same muscles, and it's really hard. It's hard on your grip too, so try that. So wherever you are, lots of different cues here. I arch my back a little bit first. You want to expand in the sternum and squeeze through the shoulder blades. Otherwise, guess what's activating? Traps, those freaking traps. We want them to stand down. Um, again, if you're a gym person, you're familiar with that, this feels a little bit like a lat pull down with a little bit of a different angle in the body, like one of the ones to the chest. So pull and squeeze with your shoulder blades, elbows back and down to the hips, and you're gonna get such a good full back workout with this row. Second part of this superset also involves, involves the barbell, but I'll show you again like a little hack at home. Underhand grip, right at the sides of your hips, and then just a little bit of hinge at the hip crease. I'm only rowing the barbell up to my hip crease and I'm keeping it gliding along the top of my thigh. So it's a pretty small range of motion. I want you to go fast and concentrated. You'll get a little bicep here, but definitely back, keep those shoulders down. Here's your easy at home hack. I just have some sort of weight comparable to the barbell. So I'm holding two 15 pound dumbbells and same sort of trajectory, trying to go up to the hip crease. Keep your elbows super tight and narrow and squeeze your back. And you'll just superset the same way back and forth from your desk to your dumbbells. There are a few perks to rowing in this way rather than keeping your palms facing your body in a traditional narrow row like we did kind of earlier on the bench. Always I'm trying to stay out of your neck and target and hone in on your back. It's hard to squeeze your back if your neck is always taking over, so this is a great way to target those muscles. If you think about the grip that we're taking here, this is called a supinated grip. So thumbs out, palm upward is a supinated grip for anything. And you can apply that to other back moves that you do. If you have certain things that you really like, try switching up the grip and you'll completely change how you activate your back. It's so good here. We wanna just get those back muscles and nothing else. No neck tension here. You know that I need you tonight. You should know that I miss you. Whoop, whoop, we're at our final move. So if you have your pull-up bar, <laughs> we're gonna try some pull-ups, and I have lots of different options here for how you can do that. If you have your pull-ups, I want you to max out your strict pull-ups, engaging every single muscle that we woke up and turned on and activated through our supersets to get yourself a good number of pull-ups. I was tired here, like my back was toast, so I think I got 
mm, like two sets of three, something like that. So do what you can, and then I'm gonna show you some options with a band and with a chair. So if you're like, F this, I cannot do pull-ups, get real. Um, hang with me for a second, I need to stop this this strict pull-up action. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay, so here's an option with a chair. You have to put it slightly behind your pull-up bar. So see how I'm lowering my legs in front of it? You wanna be able to lower eccentrically, which is the negative portion of a contraction, with your legs slightly forward in front of that chair. So all you're gonna do is hop, give yourself a little jump off of the chair, hold yourself for just a second up above the bar, and then you're lowering with control. The idea behind this is that you're working the exact same muscle groups and muscles as you would on the way up, you're just working it on the way down, which is so much easier. When I'm helping people get their pull-ups and we're doing progressions, this is a major, major staple. So do that until you're toast and that will count as your set of pull-ups. If you do have a band, you can use this as a great modification as well. These are all over Amazon. I'll link some below this set that I have. But this is a pretty light band. I think it's taking about 50 pounds maybe off my body weight. The one hang, hanging just to the left of me, those green ones, they, those are even heavier. So they take a lot of weight off. That way you can get the feeling of like, oh my gosh, I can freaking do pull-ups. This is great. So you might want to invest in a band. I'm ready to move on with the rest of my day, but I hope you guys really enjoyed that workout and it gave you some great ideas for how to build a nice, strong, sexy back for whatever dress or event that you were getting ready for. And if you liked this video, will you hit that thumbs up button? I'm trying to grow my channel and that helps me so much. And if you like what you see, maybe consider subscribing. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day, you and your beautiful back, and I will see you next time. Bye.